Hi, today we will talk about Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulators or SERMs. By the term SERM, it means that these are drugs with tissue selective actions. That is, they have estrogenic action in some tissues and anti-estrogenic action in some other tissues. So the main objective of using these drugs is first to produce beneficial estrogenic effects in some tissues such as the bone and the liver and to prevent harmful estrogenic effects in some other tissues such as the breast. Now we have a look at some commonly used terms. So we have clomiphene, tamoxifen, raloxifen, toremiphene and ormiloxifen. In the subsequent slides, we will focus our discussion on the first three terms, that is clomiphene, tamoxifen and raloxifen. So first we, we will talk about the pharmacological action of serms. In this slide, we will talk about tamoxifen and raloxifen and in the next slide, we will talk about clomiphene. So if we look at tamoxifen and raloxifen, both of them produces estrogenic effects on bone leading to decreased bone resorption and decreased fracture risk. They act on the liver leading to decreased LDL and total cholesterol. They act on the blood leading to an increased incidence of DVT that is deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. They also act on the uterus but here there is a contrast. Tamoxifen causes an increased endometrial proliferation hence leading to an increased risk of endometrial cancer while Raloxifen does not cause increased endometrial proliferation and so there is no increased risk of endometrial cancer. Now coming to the anti-estrogenic effects of tamoxifen and raloxifen. So they have anti-estrogenic effects on the breast leading to decreased breast cancer cell proliferation. They also have anti-estrogenic effects on the peripheral tissues leading to hot flushes and vomiting. So the takeaway from this slide is that both tamoxifen and raloxifen decrease bone resorption, decrease fracture risk, decrease breast cancer cell proliferation, but tamoxifen causes an increased endometrial proliferation, but raloxifen does not cause an increased endometrial proliferation. So coming to the next drug, clomiphene. Clomiphene mainly inhibits the estrogen receptors in the hypothalamus. Since clomiphene blocks these receptor, estrogen then cannot act on these receptors. This blocks the negative feedback effect of estrogen on the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus starts sensing that there is a deficiency of estrogen in the body. It therefore starts releasing more of gonadotropin releasing hormone that is GnRH. This GnRH goes and acts on the pituitary to increase the secretion of gonadotropins that is FSH and LH follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. The increased FSH and LH acts on the ovary to cause ovarian stimulation. This results in ovulation. Now moving to the adverse effects of serms. Clomiphene as we discussed causes ovarian stimulation and therefore has a potential to cause ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, polycystic ovaries, multiple pregnancies. It may also cause nausea, vomiting and hot flushes. Tamoxifen, as we discussed, increases endometrial proliferation or therefore there is an increased risk of endometrial cancer. There is also an increased risk of deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. It may also cause nausea, vomiting and hot flushes. Raloxifen does not cause increased endometrial proliferation. Therefore, it does not have an increased endometrial cancer risk. However, there is an increased risk of deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. It may also cause hot flushes and leg cramps. Lastly, we talk about the indications or uses of clomiphene, tamoxifen and raloxifen. So clomiphene, because it stimulates the ovaries, it is used in female infertility, which is due to anovulation. It is also used in male infertility and in vitro fertilization. Tamoxifen is used in the treatment and prevention of breast cancer, both pre and postmenopausal, while raloxifen is used in the treatment and prevention of osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. So to remember, as it is highlighted in red, 
clomiphene for infertility, tamoxifen for breast cancer, and raloxifen for osteoporosis. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video and found it beneficial, please do share, but do not forget to press the subscribe button. Thank you.